We want to make it uh, better. We want to make it more efficacious. We want to make it safer. We understand that there is science behind what we're doing. Ab absolutely, that's exactly what this company is about. Everything that happens is able to happen because we're able to do it safely and protect our workers. Ensuring the health and safety of workers and researchers across a global operation is an epic responsibility. Teams of health and safety associates are integrated into areas of research and development, all playing a vital role in advancing medical innovation. What's at stake here is a company that's been operating for more than 250 years. We have around 100,000 employees and our products are available in more than 155 countries. It requires a dynamic and agile HSC team to ensure safety on the global level, guided by a clear mission. I think one thing that's really special about Novartis is the way that we are reimagining medicine and everything we do, we're thinking about the patient. Safety and science working together as partners to stay at the forefront of medicine, the cutting edge, the very things that impact patients. You really get the sense that people like what they do and are passionate about finding the next transformative medicine and it makes it cool to be supporting that effort. How do we enable them to be able to provide these amazing workplaces so that our scientists and our manufacturing operations and our other colleagues can bring their best self to work? Using safety to advance scientific innovation across every area of research. Such as chemical safety, radiation safety, biosafety, training, tracking metrics and data, incident investigation, and so on for the site. Supporting continuous development by adapting and adopting new safety approaches. I think we certainly are, are having to innovate the way that HSE approaches risk management. For example, chemical exposure historically and, and still at a lot of other uh, companies has been using this sort of banding process where a certain material has a certain hazard and that equals X work practices. What we've done, what our global HSD team has come up with, is really a, a more risk-based approach. So yes, look at the inherent hazard, but also look at how are you using it, and where are you using it, and how often, and is it a powder, or is it a liquid? Ensuring safety and innovation requires a strategic and multifaceted approach. I think that's one of the reasons and one of the ways something like a task risk assessment tool is really useful in building a great safety culture is it empowers departments to take it upon themselves. Basically what it is is a framework to look at every kind of step in a work process, identify hazards, and then identify what controls are going to be put in place. They do a lot of practical things to uh, help us achieve uh, a safe environment. One of those is safety walkthroughs. They'll take one of the scientists from the area, they'll take one of the, the group leaders from the area, and they'll take uh, one of the people from HSC and they'll walk through the labs. Communication, teaching, training, and empowering departments is part of embedding a successful safety mindset. We also talk about hazardous waste management and exposure control devices. So for example, how do folks know when and where they should be using a biosafety cabinet versus a fume hood versus a ventilated balance enclosure? What kind of protection do those things provide them and for what materials should they be using them? And to tell them specifically that without you, we actually couldn't do what we're doing. Without you, uh, the patients couldn't get uh, the drugs that they need. Safety and science, driven by a mission to save lives. The culture in Novartis, our aspiration is to be inspired, curious, unbossed, and to show integrity. So when I think about those four words and then link them to HSC, it's exactly what the profession is. You know, every time I come home through the door, uh, you know, HSC's uh, done something right. I think what this team does really well is collaboration, but also being really approachable. It's about caring for people. HSC truly is about caring for people. You're not only supporting the folks on the site who are performing the science and doing the work, but you all have this collective whole of meeting the needs of patients who have diseases that, that might not have a medicine available yet, which is really incredible. Their job is not to stop us from doing what we need to do. 
Their job is to aid us in doing what we need to do. And so that may look differently than we envisioned, but they're still going to work with us to get us to do those things and to help us accomplish those things.